Hello everyone, welcome back to our podcast. So today I'm again back with an exciting topic. So today I would like to talk about a very very important thing that is actually prevailing in today's life. I think you might be wondering what is that, right? So before I actually start, I'd like to tell you a quote written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. You have to dream before your dreams can actually come true. So let us start. So today we are going to see about childhood stress. Generally, adults face many stresses. It might be in the form of an emotional stress, a mental stress or a physical stress. But one thing can be sure, they generally face stresses. And do you ever think children also face some stress? And according to me, yes, they do actually face stress in their life as well. I can we actually tell that children's lives are tension free. Mm, I guess up to some extent, but not completely. But the truth is that today the life of the children is so much very stressful. The stress is created by the way elders approach different kind of situations. If a parent is unduly anxious about every event in a child's life, attention created is sure to reflect on the child's personality as well. The strict study routines are enough for some children in order to be stressful as well. Here are actually some tips in order to reduce some stress on our children. So let us start. The most important thing to remember is that every child is actually different and special. As I already told you and I'm actually telling it many times as well in my previous podcast as well that children are unique they are small they are different they are special it is we the parents who must actually try to understand that that we should never 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 compare our children with others so don't expect or insist that a child should actually be like other people he need not always be in excellent in whatever the activity he or she actually does so each individual has his or her own abilities capabilities and their own talents in which they are actually superior to others as well so never ever try to compare your own children with others second thing consider the age of a child so there will be some limitations for the child during his growing years for example don't be overly worried about a child's handwriting even before he or she actually learns how to grip a pencil you actually try to give them some time to adjust to learn and to improve themselves as well because with every iteration with every time they try to improve themselves and learn from their mistakes as well and third most important thing is like adults children to need some kind of privacy as well and some space for themselves so it is not right to keep the child under at the constant vigil it is not right to ask our children whatever is actually happening in school they may or they may not be interested to tell it tell about it right and threatening a child to manage him or her is the worst thing to do persuasion and encouragement are better means to do that it is also not good to remind a child of some wrong he or she actually committed or he actually made it expecting maturity that exceeds a child's age is unrealistic so always remember that it is natural for the children to be naughty and playful as well avoid scolding the child in front of others as well this can actually have bad impact on them as well and being a child i often feel that getting scolded in front of others will actually make a child embarrassing ashamed and sometimes they actually go up to an extent that they actually want to go out from this world as well that is the extent that children actually going into so unpleasant conversations should always be just between the parent and the child and not to the world right so it may not be possible to live without any stress at all 
but with some care with some respect and with some good nature heart right we can certainly make a child's life more beautiful so that was about this podcast this is very important that we don't actually make our children's lives more stressful with all the things and i believe that childhood is a very very beautiful thing i think they must actually should be given a chance to explore every part of that phase of their life because once they actually come out from that phase they can't experience all the beautiful things so let us give them actually the chance to be themselves to learn from their own mistakes and let us be beside their side and support them and correct them in case if they are doing wrong as well so this is what actually parents should do so hope you all have actually enjoyed listening to my podcast and we'll meet in the next one so till then bye bye you can listen this podcast on youtube spotify amazon music Apple Podcast, Overcast, Stitcher, Radio Public and in many other platforms as well. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and comment down on what topics you actually want to listen to the podcast as well.